Is the sidelined AIA DMK Deputy General Secretary TTV Dinakaran's position substantially weakened? Well, his two month deadline for the two factions of the party to merge has ended today. He wouldn't come to party headquarters to resume work as he said he would. Instead, he said he'd go on a statewide tour. He claims he has the support of 40 MLAs, but not many of them still back him in quite, with quite the same fervor. Sidelined AIADMK leader TTV Dinakaran is making a last ditch effort to keep a foothold in the power stakes in the state. The supposed proxy chief minister chosen by Dinakaran and his aunt jailed party chief Sasikala, E. Palliswami, has increasingly been asserting his independence. What's more, many of the 40 MLAs that Dinakaran claimed as his supporters have also reportedly gone back to the EPS camp. As a result, Dinakaran has dropped his much hyped plan to enter the party headquarters with fanfare. The death of AIADMK founder and former Chief Minister Joy Ralita has given the two main EPS and OPS factions of the party the wiggle room to assert themselves, and they are doing so by going independent of the formerly powerful Sasikala family. You are able to see some 40 MLAs coming here often and others are in touch with me over phone and all. In the future they will also come to me whenever they need have any necessity. As Deputy General Secretary, Dinakaran has doled out various positions to 20 MLAs, but that doesn't seem to have helped. He also plans to go on a statewide tour commemorating the birth centenary of party founder M.G. Ramachandran. With MLA still largely with the EPS camp, all eyes would now be on Dinakaran's upcoming tour if he has the grassroots support. In Chennai, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.